Hello, my friends of Quadri Labs. My name is Ol Montoya. In this tutorial, we are going to model sedimentary layers, horizontal sedimentary layers, and then we are going to do that with GenPy app and as well with some new tools um, that we have developed in Python. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So I'm going to delete my story. Okay. Great, so first let's start. You're going to receive in the description of the video this uh, folder, the CPET, well, the RAR version of this folder. Okay, place under your documents and then we open with Anaconda Prom. CD documents. Okay, CD modeling. Uh, no, it's geological. Okay, then we launch Jupyter Lab. Great. In this folder, you are going to have a Python class. Okay, and the Python class is stored. Where are these Python classes stored? It's stored here on working functions. So the your notebook has to be at the same level as the working functions. Okay, great. So you need to install some packages. Okay, and the packages that you need to install are these ones okay uh, by visa train train beautify jupyter extension vtk and ip widgets okay uh you have just to run this cell once and once you have run it you can comment it okay great uh i have already installed it so i don't i'm not going to run okay and then we first we import our python class then we uh, create the object and then we, in this part, we have to define the places where are the orientations and where are the surface points. So, okay, so uh, because are the, the same level, so I don't have to use relative paths. Okay, so we create some data frames and then we can plot the objects. Okay, and these will plot the objects and it works for every orientation and for every surface point okay it works for every orientation and what is this uh, helpful this is helpful because you can actually understand the sequence of layers because in the model orientation and on the surface point you are going to have only coordinates but with this interactive explorer you are going to see that the rock 2 is above rock 1. Okay, rock 2 is above rock 1. Okay, and then you have the orientation of rock 2 and the orientation of rock 1. And just to mention that in this tutorial, we don't have folds. Okay, great. Okay, so with this exploration, we can go to aquifer. .hatarilabs.com. Okay. You create one project that will be sedimentary sedimentary layers. Okay, great. So we instantiate our Jimpy uh, app. We create the pot okay because we have to open a pot first okay can view our pot okay and the model will be from coordinate from 0 to 1000 from 0 to 1000 from 0 to 1000 and the resolution will be 12 meters in every direction. So we go to select. Then we insert the orientation file. Where is the orientation file? The orientation file is here. Then we insert the point file. Where is the point file? Okay. Okay, and then here we have rock one and rock two. Both are strat, both are strat. And rock two is actually on the second order because rock rock one is in the second order because rock two is above rock one. Okay, so we just upload that. Okay. 
okay great fall orientations oh, there is no fall so actually this is not exactly true okay so here we have the surface and these are the plots of the x-axis y-axis and z-axis and this is the same as x y and z okay then we interpolate that okay the interpolation actually can take around 100 seconds 120 seconds so i'm going to pause it and restart okay it has taken around 140 seconds okay so uh, one is okay for every time you have two time you press reload until you can say now you can check your results on the results here we see that this is the rock 2 this is the rock 1 and this is the basement okay so as you see um well for the rock number two the the layer actually includes the points while for rock number one uh, the points are uh, on the next okay so the layer is quite a little bit above the points okay this is due to the interpolation okay and here we can see from the x and y direction and the, from the z direction is on the mid on the mid elevation okay so and this is how we can model okay say horizontal sedimentary layer that is a great uh, example just to um, start working with these tools with python and genpy and well we are going to provide you more we are going to provide you more uh, tutorials okay going step by step over the next features uh, of geological modeling and then after that we are going to get applied geological modeling where we are going to use geospatial data okay thank you for your attention and hope to see you in coming tutorials just to know that we are a platform for knowledge sharing in you in water resources and groundwater modeling mostly and we have a shop where we have a lot of diplomas and the aim of these diplomas is to have a complete program that helps you master okay so this is not a program that is intended that you know something or that you have an idea or something no these programs are intended that you can master modflow model muse uh python and flowpy and SWAT and QIS. Okay, so um, my recommendation, okay, and by taking out these diplomas, you support our research. Okay, have a great day. Bye bye.